podcast where we focus on building, connected, and networking. And today I got a special guest in the building, Baby Juan. So, so, so. How y'all doing? Shit, what's good with you? Doing good, man. How you feeling? Doing pretty good. Chilling. Grinding. You know what I'm saying? Already. Before we jump into the, the interview, let the people know where you from. Uh, man, I'm from the 434 area, man. From fucking Virginia. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Small town. Ain't really too much to say about it. For sure. How was life coming up for you? Uh, shit, it was all right for real, you know. It was, uh, it was, it was hard times for real sometimes, but, mm-hmm. shit, you know, it's the country, so you just gotta, you just gotta do what you gotta do, you know what I'm saying? For sure. What would be some things you said that got you through the hard times? Uh, shit, really just my people, for real. Mm-hmm. And my niggas and shit just, just gotta keep going for real and just try to win. It's really all right. Was you into the music as a, like coming up as a child? Like making music. Well, like were you around a lot of music? Uh, nah, not for real. My uh, my cousins and shit. They used to like freestyle and shit. Mm-hmm. Like when I used to be in my grandma's, shit like that. But I ain't never really want to get into it myself though. For but, sure. How long was um, how long you been doing the music? Like now shit. up to this point. I started doing music. I started writing like around November twenty twenty one, some mm-hmm. shit like that. And then, so about like a year and some change. Mm-hmm. So would you say like with your people's rapping that kind of made you want to rap? Nah, even then, even then, still mm-hmm. like it won't really like like some on my mind that I wanted to do. Like I always fuck with music and shit like that, mm-hmm. but like I wanted to hoop when I was younger, so shit. Right. It just kind of just something that just came. Mm-hmm. When you say you used to hoop, was it like since you was a shorty, shorty, or like? Just like yeah, that was like some out. shit I wanted to do like when I was like young, young, for real, okay, like for okay. a long time. You played through school and shit too? Nah, nah. Not, not really. Me. Okay, okay. Now I noticed you got like decent support team behind you, like you yeah. know, on Instagram and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, what do those people mean to you? Shit, that shit mean a lot to me, for real, because when I first started, it was kind of like I ain't know how I was going to go, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I just had to just put it out there and just let it see what it do, so. Mm-hmm. But they show 100%, 100% support, so that shit, that shit real. For sure. What would be, like, some of the comments that, like, stood out to you since you've been making music? Uh, Just, you know, just, I wouldn't say, like, a specific comment, but, you mm-hmm. know, just the amount of love that I get, like, when I do drop and, like, my new releases and shit do come out. So mm-hmm. I think that's really a big part of it. Already. So, like, your catalog ain't huge yet, you know? Yeah, but I'm when, still working we're, on my catalog. We'll jump into the album talk, but, like, what what's your favorite? Well, first I'm gonna ask you this: like, what what you think the hottest record is off your catalog right now? Uh, I don't really know. It just depends on what what a person wants to hear, for real. But mm-hmm. I think freestyle when I first snippeted it, I think it did it did a lot. Of, it did big yeah. numbers. So I think people was waiting for that one for a good while. Mm-hmm. Okay. And um, your favorite? My favorite probably um probably one of them. Mm-hmm. One of them, probably one of them ones, too. I think people was waiting for that one for a good while. So okay. Sure. Now, <clears throat> the album. What's the title? Uh, Neighborhood Star. How about that name? Um, I just feel like it was, it was just a good fit for like what I was trying to go for. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. where I'm from, it's not, it's not a lot of celebrities you're making out of there. Sure. You know what I'm saying? So, just feel like I'm just a neighborhood star. Like, the nigga just trying to make a way for everybody. You know what I'm you got any um features? Uh, no, I ain't got no features. No on features. Here, no. Okay. Uh, my cool. next shit, uh, I'm gonna definitely have some features. I will probably get my cousin or some shit. For sure. Yeah. Um, what's some artists you want to work with? Uh, like just in general, or like in the, yeah, like, like say for instance, you drop into your next project. Like who who would you like to see on that joint? Uh, hopefully by then, by the time I drop my next project, it'll be like some real big names on that shit. Mm-hmm. But. Um, I'll work with like some, some DMV artists too, mm. but some names I would like to work with probably like Cap, Pop or somebody mm. like that, get somebody on some shit. I Damn think that'd right. be hard. Nah, I can see you working with them for sure. Yeah. Um, so what's some goals after the album drop? Um, shit, just keep grinding, just mm. keep making music and shit, keep promoting it and just keep pushing. You already thinking like visuals, promotion. Yeah, I'm gonna have like a I'm gonna have a couple of videos come out for that jump. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna do. 
I'm gonna let the let the people pick like what, what songs they want a music video to, mm-hmm. and then we just gonna go from there. Okay, okay. Like so, you make some noise with this joint you about to drop, right? Label come to you with like two mil or some shit. Mm-hmm. What would be the first thing you would do? First, gotta look over the contract. You gotta play it smart mm-hmm. first, and then just see what they really offer me. See if they really trying, you know, for do sure. good for me, and then we'll just go from there. See mm-hmm. how it works. Already. So like you ever you ever been part of a group or like you always been a solo artist? Uh since I'm like really just starting, I just always been a solo artist. Mm-hmm. But um like with my big cousin, I think we like a good duo together. So if me and Brad ever wanted to like do like a little duo, don't drop a duo tape thing. Mm-hmm. I think that should be hard too. Already. So like on the joint one of them, you was like you the golden child. Like break that down for me, like what that means. Just like Cause I'm the only son, I'm the only son like with my mama kids and shit. Okay, so it's kind of okay. like I just feel like since you the only son, you just gotta make something happen. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Sure. So you golden child, the light on you. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So. so did you grow with a lot of siblings? Like you got a lot of sisters in since you the only. Uh, I only got two sisters okay. and I got a brother. Okay, okay, but. I got you. They into the music too or not really? Nah, nah. They support you though, right? Oh yeah, 100%. that's what's up. So like, what would be the first thing you'll do for like your peoples? Shit, just first I probably buy my mama a house, some shit mm-hmm. like that. She always wanted a house. Probably get a nice car. Just take care of them in any way I can, you know what I'm For saying? For sure. Respect, it. respect. Um, so like say for instance, somebody from around the way, you know, from the buck, they just start rapping. They're younger than you, but they're telling you they're trying to rap. All like right. what would be some advice you'll get them from the shit you've seen so far? Uh, shit, just be consistent and just, you know what I'm saying, just focus on building your catalog and just making good music first, mm-hmm. and then, you know, your time gonna come, you know, and eventually people gonna notice you, so shit, mm-hmm. you just gotta keep going, keep grinding, and then you gonna win in the end. Alrighty. So, from the upcoming project, um, what's one of your favorite songs on that joint? Hmm. I got this junk called um called Heart Code on there and that junk hard. Mm-hmm. And I got another junk called um Think About Tomorrow. Them probably like my two favorite tracks mm-hmm. on that junk. Um break them down, like you ain't gotta like spit them, but like what what what's the meaning behind them? Like what's the vibe on them junk? Uh they like, you know, some melodic shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Heart code is like, you know what I'm saying, just talking about like how life been for like a long time, you know, the shit shit niggas go through. On a day to day basis and shit. So okay. it's kinda like your hard code, you know what I'm saying? All that shit that happened to you just throws you up. Already. Now um, the listen to me joint. That's the uh, new that's the latest. Yeah, that's right? the latest joint. Yeah. What, what's the purpose behind that? Was that like to your to your shorty or just like a general record? It was just like a I'm gonna say like it was kinda like in between type shit, you mm. know what I'm saying? I was going through some shit like with a shorty. For shit. sure, for sure. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Did you get a lot of feedback from that? Yeah, I got pretty good feedback from that. A lot of mm-hmm. a lot of females was fucking with that. I think that was um I tried to get that tried to get that out of around Valentine's Day, so Okay. Yeah, I think a lot of people was fucking with that one. Already. Um, so like what's next for you? Like what, what can your supporters expect to see? Uh just a lot more music and, you know what I'm saying, being more consistent and just giving them what they want to hear, you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. that's really about it. I'm gonna try to um after the tape. I'm trying to get about two, three videos in, so they'll definitely okay. see a lot. Yeah, I think the, the visuals um, are definitely important. Like, mm-hmm. would, would you say that? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Mm-hmm. You got to have good visuals because, I mean, song could be hot. They mm-hmm. they want to see what you're going to do with it, you know what I'm saying, with That's a video. Right. So you got to shoot a visual. Yeah, the last one you did, I rock with that, Jane. Um, me personally, I think you should keep doing them. Like, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, keep keep throwing them Janks out there. Most definitely. You know what I'm saying? Um, so... Where can the people find you on social media? Like, if they're looking for you. Uh, shit, baby one on Instagram, and that's really all I got for you. Just Instagram. Just Instagram. Mm-hmm. Alrighty, man. I want to uh definitely give you your props, man. Get your flowers now, cause like you know what I'm saying. I don't seen the growth. You know what I mean? Cause I was I was introduced to your music before I, I really knew you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, through another through another person and um. I could tell you was hungry then. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So definitely keep doing what you're doing. Appreciate it, man. You know what I'm saying? And um, 
Shit, you know, you're welcome here anytime, bro. Appreciate that. Appreciate you, man.